What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today then I've got three awesome tips and tricks to show you guys to help you make more money on Facebook. So what we're gonna be doing then is jumping into my ad manager account. I'm gonna be showing you some of the ads I've ran in the past, just so you can actually see the results they've produced and actually know that the things I talk about on this channel then, I do actually implement them myself as well. As always though, before we get into it, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call with myself on this video. All you've gotta do then to enter the raffle is simply like the video and leave a comment down below and if you commented on my previous video then yesterday then make sure you stay tuned to the end where the winner will be announced and that being said then guys thank you for tuning in i hope you can enjoy the video and let's get straight into it what's going on then guys so welcome to my ad manager account now a couple of things just to mention quickly that i feel like is important um this is an old account of mine so i'm not running any of these ads um so i don't mind sharing absolutely everything with you guys um just so you can see exactly what i've done in the past um, now I do still sell a couple of these products but I do it in a different way and I don't like to give out my current campaigns and the current ads that I'm currently running um, for obvious reasons because I do YouTube but because this is an old account then um, I have no problems at all showing you guys absolutely everything. So the first tip I wanna show you then, I'm just gonna draw your attention to this first one which produced the most amount of money for me. Um, so I'm just gonna open it up. In fact, before we do that, I'm just gonna refresh the page because every time I do one of these videos, somebody always says that you're not refreshing the page, it could be fake, but you can see I'm refreshing the page and it's the same results, same numbers, same everything. So I'm just gonna click edit then, edit this up. And what I'm gonna do is just click on this preview button here. We're gonna go into Facebook posts with comments and that's just gonna show you exactly what the ad will look like in your newsfeed. So when you are when you are creating ads, um, if you do want to kind of like double check how everything will look, then that's a great way to do it. So my first tip then is this little note here. So you can see it's a carousel ad. You can see it's a bracelet with lots of different charms, and. When it comes to building ads and the actual ad copy itself, then it's not random. Everything you do needs to be there for a reason. And if it's not, if it's not valuable to the customer or if it's not doing something, then there's no point having it there. So for example, then just to kind of illustrate that, um, the actual ad copy itself, so the text, there's there's hardly anything there, but it, like, it's, like I just said, everything in there is there for a reason. So lovely charm bracelets, it tells people exactly what they are. There's incentive there by offering 50% off, another incentive by saying there's free delivery. And then there's also kind of like a suggestion of who they can buy it for. But my tip then, my very first tip to show you is this here, so PayPal welcome. And this is very, very important because because us as small businesses and new brands, um, especially when you're starting out, you might not have many followers on your social media platforms. That can be off-putting for people and naturally people aren't gonna trust you because you won't have that social proof. But by saying straight away on the offset that you accept PayPal, then that's telling them that you're a legit business and that you can't steal their money because people, it's gonna make, someone has to really trust you if they're gonna hand over their credit card details, but if they can pay by PayPal, then they don't mind because they know that if they're not happy with the product or if they don't receive it, they can quite easily claim their money back. So that's the first tip then. And trust me, simply having this little PayPal welcome or PayPal accepted within your ads um, is gonna completely change it. You will get more people clicking on them. I can almost guarantee that. Another thing as well is that you wanna try and, this is kind of like, I didn't plan to go through this next tip. Um, so I guess there's four tips, in the, four tips in the video. And the second one then is to create kind of like, what's the word, like interest within your customer or make them want to know more. So for example, I've put over 10 plus different charms available. That gets people thinking what other charms are there. And because there's only three or four in the ad, it makes them want to click on that ad to see what other charms there are. And that's essentially the job of your Facebook ad. Your Facebook ad's prime goal is to get people to click on it and go to your website. So that's tip number one slash two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave a like on the video. Um, and moving on to tip number two then, which is, I'm just gonna shut this one out of the way. It's this post here. So you can see there's like a dog. Um, again, I'm just gonna open up the ad preview so you can see what it looks like on, on a news feed. Um, and once this opens up, so the second tip I wanna show you, if we just have a look at the comment section, you can see that the page that I'm running it from is very active. And when I say that, that is actually me myself. Um, and I'm responding to pretty much absolutely every single person. You can see anybody who leaves a comment, I am responding back to them. And that is a 
a very good thing to do and again it will increase it will well it will decrease your cost per click significantly because you'll get so many more people clicking on your ad and again what it does is it shows a sign of trust with your customers if you're just an ad showing a product and p and you leave it up to people to just click on your ad then it's kind of like a cold ad if that makes sense but if they can see that the actual page itself is engaging with the customers and actually talking to people and it's a just the fact that you're active shows that you're a legit business and you're very much still alive and you care about your customers because you're answering their questions and believe me it will make a massive difference you'll see loads of other pages do it as well and you'll find that you can get an app or some sort of bot I can't remember what it's called but it will automatically reply to people leaving basically just a link to the product page. Now, I don't recommend doing that. I do actually recommend taking the time to respond to everybody in a human way and actually answer their queries. Don't just spam them. Again, going back to the point I made before, every time you say something or post something, make sure it's actually relevant um, and interesting to the customer. Um, and for those interested then, I'm just gonna play the ad quickly so you can see how dead simple it was. I did a tutorial on my channel actually of how I actually created this ad. Um, and you can see really simple, easy to do. These are simply the stock images off AliExpress, by the way. And it's just like a simple slideshow with some funky music in the background. But you can see I ended up spending quite a bit of money on this ad, um, nearly a million people reached. Um, and over 2,000 shares. So yeah, that's point number two then, which is respond to every single comment in a humane and personal way and build a relationship with the people in the comments because it will pay off. I can almost guarantee it, people will see it as a good thing, which can only be a good thing for you and your business um, and your profitability. And the third and final point then that I wanted to make, and maybe even the most important one, and that is, if we just go back to my ad manager account, in fact, um, close this down you can see that I use the same post for all of my ads so you can see that the dog product um, is the same ad you can see that the bracelet is the same ad and the reason the sole reason for doing this then is to build up the engagement all on one post so you can see this one has quite a bit of engagement uh, the dog ad did as well so 1800 comments nearly 6,000 engagements and the reason you want to do this then comes back to social proof and building the trust with your essentially who sees your ad because if somebody sees an ad that has nearly 6,000 engagements versus the exact same ad even from the exact same company but it only has say 10 or 20 engagements then they're naturally just going to trust that post that has more engagements people it kind of sounds bad, but people like to follow other people. So the more engagement an ad has then, and the more comments, then the safer people will feel um, actually trusting an ad and therefore clicking on it and therefore um, actually buying your product as well. So the way you do that then is you put a post on your actual page. So for example, this is my kind of personal Facebook page. Um, and all you do then is Use, you need the page post ID. So in fact, I'll show you from the very beginning. Um, in fact, I'm halfway through now. So we're at the ad creation stage. So we've chosen our campaign objective top left. Um, we've gone through the whole ad set, the tagged in everything. So what you wanna do, um, this will be your default screen. If you just click on use existing post, you can select the page that you wanna run it from. And then what you wanna do is click select post and it's gonna come up with all the different posts. But if it doesn't, then what you can also do is click enter post ID and that's gonna allow you to put the post ID in so you can use the exact same post. Now, if it doesn't come up on, the, on this list, then obviously you need the post ID and to do this is dead simple. So if you just go to your page, find the post that you want to use as your ad, click on the three dots, and then you wanna click embed, wait for this little pop-up, click on advanced settings, and then you see this URL of post, and then it's posts forward slash, and then there's like a number here. So you just want to copy that, go back to your ad manager and put it in there and then click submit. And as you can see, it's grabbed the actual post and therefore you can use the same post for every ad set. And that way, all the likes, all the comments, all the shares are going to build up on that one post. And that will only be a good thing as well. I've already mentioned it before, but the more engagement, the more comments, more likes, more shares a post has, then the more people are willing to trust it, click on it 
and therefore actually buy your product as well. So that being said then guys, I think that's all three tips. Hopefully you guys are still watching the video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed those three tips as well. And please, please, please do go and implement these. These will make a difference, I can guarantee it. Um, and if you do, then please do come back as well and let me know how you get on. And that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you wanna be entered into the one-to-one -one, um, call raffle, if that makes sense, then all you've gotta do is leave a comment down below as well. And that being said then, let's get into announcing the winner from yesterday's video. So here we are then on the previous video, the two main reasons people fail at dropshipping in 2019. Um, if you haven't watched this video, then I highly suggest you go and watch it because it's probably one of the best videos I've done actually. Um, it probably won't get as many views, but I feel like the advice I've given it is very down to earth and real and will actually help a lot of people out. So anyway, 490 views, 66 likes, which is absolutely awesome. So I'm just gonna take the URL We'll head over to our random comment picker. 49 unique comments in one single day is absolutely awesome. In fact, I think that might be a new record, so thank you very much. Um, I really, really do appreciate it. And the winner then of this raffle is Lewis Gibbons. Um, as usual, top job, mate. So thank you very much, Lewis. I really do appreciate it. Um, make sure you reach out then. Uh, get me on Instagram or Facebook. There's probably one of the two of the best ways and then we can get that call arranged. And that being said then guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't win this one, then better luck next time. Uh, make sure you do like this video and leave a comment to be entered into tomorrow's draw. And I'll see you guys in the next one.